Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to represent whole numbers using inequality symbols. So the question we have is, what are inequality symbols? What are inequality symbols? Inequality symbols are, let me write something here. We have a symbol like that and we have a symbol like that. So when we have a symbol like, like this, it means greater than let me write it down greater than that means when we have a symbol pointing towards the right it means greater than when we have a symbol which is pointing to the left it is it is called less than less than so just to understand this greater than example let's say let's take a simple example here let's say we have two numbers 5 and 3 5 is greater than 3 so therefore we put a symbol greater than symbol between 5 and 3 for less than let's take a simple example let's say we have two numbers 4 and 7 4 is less than 7 therefore we put a symbol like that 4 is less than 7 so that is how those are the inequality symbols now let us take a an example which explains a little bit more about inequality symbols. Let's take a simple example. An example here is, we want to place the correct symbol between 40 and 25. Place a correct symbol between 40 and 25. 40 and 25. So, what we're going to do here is, we're going to use the the number line which we talked about in our previous presentation we'll draw a number line and we want to know from here where is for, from the starting point is zero we want to identify 25 we also want to identify 40 let's say this point closer to the zero is 25 away from zero is 40 so the correct symbol to be placed between 40 and 25 is let us put 40 and 25 separated by a small gap there and the symbol we want to put here is greater than symbol because 40 is greater than 25 therefore the symbol we're going to put between these two numbers is is greater than symbol like that okay now let's take another example let's try to use these uh, inequality symbols to explain some more examples Let's take another simple example. This time, we want to be able to represent the correct symbol between the numbers 0 and 100. Let's say we have two numbers like that. We want to place the correct uh, inequality symbol between 0 and 100. What do we do? We draw the number line and then we say we start with 0 and then on the far end, we'll say this is 100. And the, the correct symbol we want to place between these two numbers is, let's write these two numbers with a gap, 0 and 100, like that. 0 is less than 100. Therefore, the symbol we're going to put between these two numbers is less than, like that. So, 0 is less than 100. And that is how we're going to place the correct inequality symbol using this number line philosophy. Okay, this is how we want to use it. In my next presentation, we shall see how to represent whole numbers using place value chart.